Right, evening Josh. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about your story and your journey with Jesus. Hello, my name is Josh and this is my sixth verse story. I started with the word blessed. I think I was lucky to be born into a Christian home. Um, I was always protected my whole growing up to, by prayer, surrounded by prayer and Christian family. My second word is different. I found out pretty early on that I was different to most people. I was more chatty, I uh, was a bit more active, wasn't really able to sit still and I, uh, it got me in a bit of a, a problem with some teachers. Um, my next word, I cheated a bit, two words, naughty and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Might sound a bit harsh, but I was, I was led to believe that I was naughty and stupid by teachers. I was labeled that way just because I was different. And um, because I had more energy and uh, I wasn't doing as well, I was held back a lot. Uh, I was in special interventions and it made me feel quite low self-esteem. I didn't have anything going. Um, but then into secondary school, my next word is comfy. I was described as comfy by my friends. And I think this came a lot through my relationship with God. And I hadn't realized until now, but because of this, I was able to have good conversations with people. And it's um, helped me now in my youth work where I can talk to the youth heart-to-heart -heart conversations and I've been described as comfy to be with. I'm also quite comfy in myself now. And then my last word, although I am quite young, uh, is worthy. Um, there's still so much for this story to go, but um, I now feel like I'm, I'm worthy of God because even though I felt comfy before, I felt like a bit, I don't deserve this sort of thing. I thought I was messing around still. I thought um, sometimes I couldn't sin. I felt like really bad, but now I feel more worthy. Like we're all sinners. Um, God loves us all equally and we all deserve God love. So, um, yeah, I now feel worthy of God and I've got a really nice relationship with him. Fantastic. What an encouraging story. Thank you for sharing. Picture and signs, follow the sound of your voice. And as you speak.